yeah, I'm here today. I had a uh, compression in my reservoir tank where we're pushing coolant out. You know, at first I was thinking it was probably like a something internal, like a hit gasket or maybe anything going on or cylinder liner or something, which I thank God it wasn't that. So for people that don't know what could possibly go on with a Detroit 127 series compression, before we hit the final review, we found out that with the compressor, air compressor that hooks up, it was shooting coolant, air bubbles through the coolant, which were flooding coolant out the reservoir. So that was the issue before going inside the block, which would have been major repair work. So, to people that don't know what could cause that issue, check with your air compressor sometimes. Compressor compresses air into the coolant line that runs in it and push it at the top of the reservoir. So, I got my guy here, Wade, here with Country Boy, Countryside Trucks Repair Service here. He took me down here and we ended up getting a new compressor. It's for a 12.7 series compressor. And uh, he came down here, picked me up, and took me down there and got the parts I needed because down here, I didn't know where a lot of repair places was at and everything. So he took care of me, took me down there. We got the parts and we're just getting back and we're about to get it installed and get it back on the road. So that's something to check for before just cracking your block open when you got compression. Check with your air compressor. And it was a test he did where we had a, a three-quarter clear hose where he hooked onto the coolant side of the compressor. And we saw big air bubbles jumping through it. So that was the reason for the compression. So once when we have the compressor installed and hooked back on, I'll do a final video. We are roll and go from there. And make sure when you go through that, that you get all the gaskets needed. You know, you're gonna need a new gasket that comes from around the compressor. Make sure you get a good ceiling on it. And then there's some gaskets that goes on the back where your solenoid is right here for the uh, fuel line hooks in. Make sure you get a new gasket for that as well. And make sure your hoses are good because I, I had some old hoses that I had to get replaced while I got it off. Put some new one back on there. And so I got some heavy duty line right here that I'm gonna put this hose back on. Some three-quarter heavy-duty hose and new connectors on it. So, so if you be down here in South Georgia, need good work done. You know, you got got my guy here, Wade. He got his own trucking service here, repair service rather. And this is his company here. Country Boy Truck Service. He do good work. Nice, nice fella. He take care of his customers. So y'all be sure that y'all, if y'all in South Georgia by Macon, Malt area, be sure to give him a, a check out. He does good work. Take care of his clients. Good prices. So, this is, is what I'm getting put on right now, and then I will be on the road. So y'all stay tuned. Over and out.